Welcome back everybody. I want to do a little review of a very cool model kit. It's not just an ordinary model kit by Ravel. It's actually, well, Ravel presents the Lowrider Magazine metal body model kit. And it comes pre-decorated. And as you can see, it says no painting, easy to build. Well, um, it does require some painting and uh, you need some glue to put it together. But it's a very cool model kit, and that's how much I paid for it, $21.99. And we look at the bottom here, and so skill level, uh, number two is moderate, H10+. plus. Model cement required, painting not required. Well, it actually does, <laughs> but we'll get to that in a bit. And there's some information there. And here's copyright 2005. But very cool kit. Now you can build it, you know, Rusto mod with these large diameter wheels, low profile tires, or use these very cool low rider wheels and tires that I absolutely love. And so very nice there. Now the original color is purple, and then they painted the sides with this kind of pearl white. It's not the shiniest, but still very cool. And I love this uh, hardtop style roof. And uh, well, there's the, there's the front. So the turn signals are colored in. Lensed headlights. And all chrome grill and bumper. Now you could do a black wash if you want. But low riders are all about you know chrome and bling. So that's pretty cool. The hood opens. The doors uh, don't open. But the trunk does open. And you get the nice little chrome feature on the gas cap, uh, well, around the gas cap. And, uh, well, uh, this door handle's not exactly straight, but you get this beautiful chrome trim on the side as well. Then you go around back, and uh, very nice there. Love the lens taillights, chrome taillight panel, bumper with the license plate. So very cool there. And it does have some pinstripes. Oh, uh, sorry about that on the on the hood and on the trunk. Uh, well, it's there. Trust me on that. <laughs> but very cool. And uh, well, here's the back. So of course uh, they give you a story you can read. And there's just the features. So, very cool kit. Now, I want to do this in two parts. I just want to do the review, first of all, for this kit. And, well, here's the instructions right here. So, very nice there. It shows you uh, the plan view of the uh, actual car. And then just gives you, read this before you begin. And the optional paint guide is provided to detail this kit. Flat black and sober. Okay, well, you need some paint, but there's uh, some information there. And copyright 2005. Well, let's look at the instructions. And it's kind of a simplified kit. I think it uses parts probably from the plastic model kit itself uh, of a 63 Impella. Or this might be a whole different uh, molding, casting for the plastic parts. But... Uh, the chassis, well, it says uh, chassis assembly. There's actually two pieces. This is the top portion, and there's a bottom portion of the chassis. And so you got the inner fender wells up front, uh, and the rear seat uh, bottoms are molded with this part of the chassis. And then, of course, you see uh, the extra pieces. Now, speakers paint flat black. Well, there's speakers on the other side, but I think uh, you'd want to paint it with a little more detail flat black with silver contacts uh, these are the battery packs well I think you want to add a little more detail to that just rather than flat black with you know silver details you want to maybe paint the you know battery cables whatever and then of course uh, hydraulic pumps it's gold plated so that's nice uh, you got a chrome plated shift lever uh, that looks like a manual, but uh, the pedals, it looks like an automatic. <laughs> Anyways, I'll show you that later. 
And there you go, the preamp. And when the trunk opens, you'll see all that. And then interior assembly. Now it says no paint, no painting. Well, uh, okay, you can leave the seats white, but I think the seats uh, inserts, you want to paint maybe purple and leave the rest white so it matches the exterior. And then you got the chrome plaque on the back. And uh, the door panels, well, I think you want to pick out the you know, door handles at least, or the window regulator handles in, in silver. And there's the firewall. It shows the brake booster, but that's actually part of the engine. I'll show you that in a moment here. And so anyways, uh, there's a little speaker in between the seats that should be painted silver as well. So you might want to do a little details at least on the interior. And uh, let's see... Uh, I'll go to the next page, get my fingers to work here, and so step well, two, well, two continued, <laughs> interior assembly continued. Now, it says uh, silver details, the dashboard. Well, I think you could do a lot more details for the dash, and, and then the pedals, you want to probably paint those two, stern column. And then silver for the uh, horn and the uh, spokes for the steering wheel. And then we have uh, this assembly. And then we have uh, three interior to chassis assembly. And so there's the second part to the chassis. And it comes molded with uh, the bottom of the engine block. And uh, the suspension is actually... Uh, well, I'll show you that in a minute too. It is part of the actual underneath of the chassis. And then you got the grill and everything and suspension pieces. So that looks pretty cool. And then let's see, we'll flip over here and then engine assembly. Well, once you get everything done, uh, this is one chrome piece and chrome air cleaner. Now there's a heater hoses here and there's a radiator hose you could paint that if you want maybe paint the brake booster a different color but very cool and then of course the wheel assembly and uh, even though they look the same size they're different <laughs> uh, well these are probably 20 inch and the low rider wheels are actually 13 inch wheels and there you go there so that's pretty cool and then, of course, the final assembly and raise or lower the axle. So there's little tabs here where you can raise or lower the suspension. And, well, let's have a parts breakdown look here. Okay, well, here's the uh, white painted or white molded pieces. So here you have the seats, seat backs, and, you know, the top of the seat backs there and there's that speaker in the center there. You want to paint that silver at least. And the steering wheel, well, of course, you got to paint the horn and the center spokes there. And this one, uh, you could paint, well, the backing flat block like it says, and then paint the uh, actual metal portions of the speakers a different color and then whatnot. But anyways, you got that there. And here's that portion of the chassis. And you could add some more detail paint on these lines here. And here's the interior pieces. So you definitely want to pick out the window regular handles in a chrome. And that's where a Molotow chrome pen comes in handy. Uh, just dab some on a surface somewhere and then with a little paintbrush, you know, pick up the paint and then paint those in. But uh, otherwise, and well, there's the dash, so you want to add some more detail in there, maybe. Paint the pedals. And there's the battery pack, so you definitely want to add some more details there, like uh, the bracket there. You could paint one color, the cables another color, and then silver for the, you know, the battery post there. And then the top of the battery, uh, these uh, little... Um, covers for the you know where you fill up the water for batteries you could paint that a different color and so add a lot more detail there and then we have the actual chassis let's pull that out 
And so as you can see, the engine's molded there. And well, you see that piece, that's actually part of the suspension, that too. And then there's the radiator and the actual battery for the car. You could paint that up, paint the radiator, radiator, <laughs> you know, whatever. That'd be a cool extra details you could add. And here is the bottom of it. So the suspension pieces uh, are attached already. And I can show you the back here where there's this little tab where you pull that back. Uh, if I can, I'll just do that. All right, so there you go. So you pull that tab back and you got those little slots so you can raise or lower the suspension as you want. And let's see, there you go. So that's very cool. And same with the front. There's a little tab right here. And of course, uh, you know, no painting. Well, you definitely want to pick out the exhaust and suspension pieces. So that'd be very cool. Or you could just assemble it like it is and just enjoy it. And then, of course, you got the other pieces here. Uh, the firewall that goes there. And here's the chrome pieces, the hydraulic tanks. And there's the engine there, chrome. Uh, you can see the air cleaner. And then there's some more pieces there. There's the shifter, and uh, this is the amp. The preamp, they call it. And there's the axle with two screws that hold the chassis there. So the front piece just slots in the front of uh, the car and then you screw the back end on and that's it so very cool love this uh this is the only one i ever found and i found it at a hobby shop and they would get stuff in you know a few of the items you wouldn't get the whole line of stuff but i would find this and uh stuff like this and i would definitely buy it and all these years later well uh now that i have my youtube channel this is going to be a very cool model to build. And so part two, I'll show you this one. And I've got some other early 60s uh, Chevy Impalas. And they're assembled or, you know, pre-made <laughs> die cast, but very cool. And it'll go great with this. So hope you enjoy it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And I promise you, I'll build this and show you it on Sunday. That's my goal, <laughs> but I promise you I will do it. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, even if you don't comment. But definitely leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And, uh, well, I'll catch you in the next one.